Hello music creators, Mike here and in this video I'm going to show you an amazing plugin for any style of transition effect you want to add to your music. So let's listen to the sound of whoosh effects by UVI right now. So let me quickly explain what this plugin is all about. So of course you can make whoosh sounds, but as the name implies here, but not only that, if you go in here to the preset library, which is my number one favorite aspect here, great organization of the presets, you can see that you can basically make any type of classic transition sound, whoosh, swoosh, swish, pass by, fly by, rise and fall. So a whoosh is this kind of sound, then you have a swoosh, then you have a swish, you have a pause by, you have a flyby, you have a rise, you can see from the envelope there, and you have a fall. Okay, uh, not only that, of course, you have all these extra uh, organized presets here. So you can go to cinematic, for example, to have a precision effect like this. Or you might want to go to rises or drops or a classic transition. It's your choice. So a very good preset library. My second favorite aspect is the layered approach. So how does this plugin generate all these sounds? Well, it's these three layers, yellow, purple and blue here, which you can see the envelopes of here. Now, if you go here to sources, you can see you can choose from all these various types of noises. And this is uh, the filter here, so it's an, on low pass filter. Depending on how much you want of the sound, you can use a comb filter or a high pass filter if you want to as well on all of these layers. And the next two layers are various textures that they recorded. So you can see sparkling bacon. <laughs> so this sounds like this. And of course, they have applied this envelope to it and these filters and stuff. So let's see if we can find something that still has that aspect of it left. So there's a river here. You really, you really create a unique... Oh yeah, there you can really hear more of the water. Water style from the texture. And then you can apply a, a second texture to it. So you can see they have recorded motor sounds, like a car here. And all this stuff, of course, everything is applied with envelopes and uh, filters, because that is what makes the transition sound. My third favorite aspect is um, the time adjustment. So if you go to, let's say, initialize whoosh. Here we have that. So this is one second. I like to click here to put it on uh, uh, sync to beats. So let's make it a uh, two bars. Or you can just choose how many seconds, milliseconds you want it like that. Right? So the time aspect is great, especially if you, let's say, lock it and um, then apply it to another patch later. Let me show you that later. In fact, let's go to this one here. So the time, the duration of the whoosh or a transition effect here. Then they have the envelope controller here. And that is so you can see all these different textures. Let's load up, let's say, a classic transition here. So now we have all of them here. Let's increase the time. And this is how the envelope applies uh, to each of these layers. So you can actually uh, draw in envelopes here like the yellow nose here, let's draw, let's draw it like this and this and then like that. Then you can smooth it out like this. And now in solo, like that, you heard whoa, whoa. And you can do that for all of these layers here with the envelopes or control them all like that. And you can even, if you don't want to do that, go into the envelope preset here. So let's make a whoosh envelope on the yellow here. Like you can see various types of envelopes like that. And um, 
Now you can do that for all of them. So the envelope control is in the middle. Again, time, envelope. And you can even control the curve of the envelope. So like that, or it starts slower and go faster here, overall here. So basically warping the overall envelope here. And number five, the movement effect. So you have duration, the, the overall envelopes per layer that actually creates the transition sound. This is the most important thing here. And then the movement here, where you can apply, do you want it in mono? You want it more stereo? And you can do ultra wide. And you can do pause by, which is basically a Doppler effect here, going from one side to the other, like that. And you can adjust the speed curve right here. You can also apply a pitch shift to it. And there's also different styles of movement applications here. And you also have a filter here for this movement effect. So again, timing, great. The envelope controls here, amazing control. The movement effects really makes a big difference. And that takes us into the overall effects. So here you have the sources again, where you choose how which source you want for the noise and for the two textures, which you can also pan and tilt and pitch, set the level per layer. Then you have the output effects. You have this vowel filter that you can, let's say, turn on on all layers like this. And you can draw an envelope curve on this as well. Choose which vowel is applied for this filter. And make a curve on it. And uh, stuff like that. But even more cool is this output effect here where you have a convolver, which you basically apply a con... I guess a convolution reverb thing. It's not a reverb, it's... Applies the effect of these different materials here. Uh, with the convolver, you have an EQ, you have a delay, or you have an output reverb and limiter. And number seven is lock when browsing, because, I mean, most often you want, you have timed up an effect here, let's say two bars, so let's sync this here to two bars, right? Or one bar, let's say. Then you see this lock effect. You can lock that, and you can also dial in the movement. Except you want a Doppler effect like that with wide stereo. Lock it, and now both those are locked. Those are the most important aspects here. And then you can change the preset here. Let's go to cinematic, and voila, it's still in 1-1 one, one bar here and this movement. So that is also a great aspect. But, I mean, overall, this is a very unique plugin that does this, uh, these styles of transition effects very well. It's super specialized, but that is something I personally love to use. Plugins and libraries, sample libraries, that are very particular in what they do and do it very well. So, that takes us into some things to consider, because, number one, I showed you the main aspects of it and why I love them so much, but it can be uh, easy to get lost. And by I mean, I mean, it's not that you get lost and don't know what to do. I mean, I learned this plugin without reading any manual just by trying it out for 10 minutes. That's how good the uh, user interface is. I mean, let's check this out. You can just hover your mouse here and you see down here what it does. That is, uh, by the way, a really great thing that I wish more developers did. Everything, you can just ho hover your mouse and you see what it does. However, what I mean by the easy to get lost is when you can do so much creatively, the possibilities, possibilities are endless. <laughs> if you are anything like me, you can spend a bit too much time trying out different variations. Um, so that can be a downside. Another thing is, if you want to map anything, anything to a fader uh, or control with your uh, sequencer, it is possible simply by right-clicking. But if I right-click here, this window has opacity on it, and I mean, it fades. It's my like um, I would have loved to have this window more clear. 
I, I simply, I don't, I don't see it that well. So that could be improved in my personal opinion. And then finally, there are undue effects uh, on some places, I think, here in the sources. If you randomize, for example, a preset here, a layer, you can go back and do that. But there is, not that I have found at least, an overall undo thing. For example, I found myself drawing a thing here and then, ah, I want to get back. I did not find anything that could go back, so the undo here in Lodic doesn't work. So, those are some minor things to consider. Overall, I really love this plugin and I highly recommend it if you are using any kind of transition effects in your music. I mean, it works for electronic music all the way to cinematic and trailer and epic music because for transitions, these kinds of things work so well and <laughs> you want to get away from only using that cliche uh, reversed cymbal crash and stuff like that. You Here you get classic cinematic motion effects and you can uh, customize a unique transition effects, bush effects, riser, that no one has used before instead of buying a library and dragging in the audio file that thousands of other producers use. All right, so that is Bush Effects by UVI. I will leave a link in the video description so you can learn more about this plugin and check it out. Now choose which video you are going to watch next. Or you can check out the amazing bonuses in the video description.